high. In this architecture activity, we will implement for security. Firstly, we will configure for security to allow to restrict a post ingress traffic by limiting the MAC addresses that are allowed to send traffic into the port. And then we will verify the operation of the port security feature. As you see on the screen, we have a topology. Uh, we have a switch one connect to the two, la two PC of the staff in the company and a rock laptop of a hacker. And to protect uh, the network, we will enable the uh, port security feature on Switch 1. And if the rock laptop connect to Switch 1, the traffic uh, should be denied. So firstly, we will enable the port security feature on Switch 1 on uh, the two fat Ethernet port. To do that, we enter the configuration mode. The five range. And then we enable the for security. Next, we will uh, set the maximum MAC addresses can be learned on those ports and on this guy it should be one so we will use the command sheet port for security maximum one and then we will secure the ports so that the MAC addresses of a device is dynamically learned and add it to the running configuration on switch 1. To do that, we use a command switch port for security. Maximum, uh, sorry, uh, MAC address sticky. So after this command, we should generate the traffic from PC1 to PC2 and the sheet 1 will get the MAC address and add it to the running configuration. I use a simple PDU and pin from PC1 to PC2 and then I show the configuration, running configuration to show run you see this mark address is a PC1 and it's, this one is a PC2 and then we will set the violation mode so that the fat Ethernet ports are not disabled when a violation occurs but a notification of the security violation is generated and packets from the unknown source are dropped. So we will use a sweep port. Sweep port for security violation. We have three modes. The protect mode. This mode, the port should be dropped on the packets, but no notification is sent to the uh, administration. The restrict mode, the port is blocked, but a notification is sent to the administrator. And the shutdown mode, the port is shut down. And on this activity, we will use a restrict mode. Next, we will disable all the remaining unused ports. On switch one, I will shut down port from 
FA zero slot three to twenty four. And then shut down. And the gigabit Ethernet port range from zero slot one to two. I will shut it down. And we should save the configuration by using the command do copy run stop. Okay. On step two, we will verify for security. Firstly, we will ping from PC one to PC two. From PC one to PC two. And on sheet one, we can show port security to verify. Show port security, and you can see the two ports are on the restrict mode, and maximum MAC address is one. The current address one and security violation count zero and another command is show port security address show address here the uh, address mark addresses of PC1 and PC2 okay now I attack a rock laptop to sheet one by using the copper straight through cable. I connect it to fat Ethernet 0 slot 3. It should be because this port is now shut down. So the color is red. So I cannot use this port from the rock laptop. Now I enable this port. Interface FA zero slot three. No shutdown. And I can ping from the rock laptop to PC one or PC two. PC1, the IP address is 10, 10, 10, 10. Ping. You see, I get the reply from PC1. Because the hacker cannot uh, accept the, the suite to config. So now I shut down the port and then I unplug the cable of PC2. I delete it first, delete, and then I use the straight through cable and connect it to the fat is an at zero slot two and on the rock laptop I ping to PC one and you can see you get a message request timeout the rock laptop cannot connect to PC one because uh, the violation occurs and the switch one a block uh, this port. Now I will verify the port FAT Ethernet 0 slot 2 on this switch by using the command show port security interface show port security interface F0 slot 2 
and you see the violation mode is rest check and uh, the security violation count 5 5 because we are uh, ping uh, 4 packets to the S1 and and after that we get the the maximum mark address is more than one so the violation count is five now I disconnect from the fat is net zero slot one uh, slot two and then connect the PC2 to this port and I ping from PC2 to PC1 ping. You see, uh, I can ping to PC1. So that is all for this activity guide. Thanks for watching.